Let's take a look at how to remove the background from a photo in Photoshop CC. So I have my image open here. What's important to note is that if you have a very complex background with a lot of different colors and shapes in it, it's going to be a lot harder to remove the background. You're going to have to do it manually using a mask. Since we have a simple solid color background, it's going to be easier to remove it. So if you're going to be removing a lot of backgrounds from photos, make sure to shoot them on a solid background. So depending on the image, you may want to use the magic wand selection tool, or you may want to use the tool that's hiding underneath it, which is the quick selection tool. The quick selection tool allows you to paint over an area and select it. You can also hold down alt to remove some of that selected area, but I think that looks pretty good. You can also use the magic wand tool and just click on different areas to select them like so. If you want to add to the selection, you hold shift. If you want to subtract from the selection, you hold alt. Both tools do pretty much the same thing, but sometimes one works better than the other, depending on the circumstances. In this case, I think the quick selection tool works pretty well. So after you have your background selected, you want to go and add a layer mask down here in the layers palette. That adds a mask. And if you have your properties palette open, you can click on invert. That'll switch the mask around. And now this checker pattern you see is transparency. So that means there's no background there now. We can go ahead and add a simple background by adding an adjustment layer for a solid color. We'll pick a gray and we'll go to OK. We'll move that layer down below our image and now we have a background that we can see. Now we need to refine this mask a little bit so we need to click on the mask icon here and we need to go to mask edge. We'll turn on smart radius and we'll increase the smart radius until we see it having a positive effect on the image. Somewhere around here seems to be working. Now what you want to do is you want to paint over any of this edge that's still there, which isn't very much. It got a pretty good selection of the hair. Now if you need to, you can decontaminate the colors, which means it will remove any colored edges. And you can play with this amount. I'm going to raise it a little bit, and I think that helps quite a bit to fix the hair. You can also play with the shift edge and the smooth if you need a smoother edge. We might do something like that, and we will go to OK. Now you're going to get better results on a high resolution photo compared to a low resolution photo. This is kind of a medium resolution photo, and I'm still getting pretty good results. I mean, this did a really, really good job of getting the hair. And of course, we can go in and we can double click on this swatch here, and we can change the background color to any color that we want. And then go to OK, and there you go. That's how you remove the background from a photo using Photoshop CC. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you can see more of my Photoshop tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.